Imagine a time when the ancestors of our beloved dogs roamed the wild as fierce, untamed wolves. How did these formidable hunters become the loyal companions curled up at our feet today? The transformation from wild wolf to domesticated dog is one of the most fascinating stories in human and animal history. In today's video, we're going to unravel the mystery of how wolves became dogs, exploring the science, history, and surprising facts behind this incredible journey. Let's start by going back thousands of years to a time when humans and wolves lived side by side, but as competitors, not companions. Wolves were skilled hunters, just like humans, and both species often targeted the same prey. So how did these two apex predators become allies? One theory suggests that it all began with a mutual benefit. Some wolves, possibly the less aggressive or more curious ones, began to hang around human camps, scavenging for food scraps. Over time, these wolves grew more tolerant of human presence, and in return, they helped keep other predators away from the camp, acting as an early warning system. This relationship marked the beginning of the domestication process. But it wasn't just any wolf that became a dog. It's believed that a specific subspecies of gray wolf, now extinct, is the ancestor of all modern dogs. This brings us to the next part of our story, selective breeding. As these early wolves and humans continued to coexist, something interesting started to happen. The wolves that were less fearful and more sociable around humans were more likely to survive and reproduce. Over many generations, these traits became more common in the wolf population living near humans. This process is known as natural selection, where the wolves that were better suited to living around humans thrived, while those that were too aggressive or skittish didn't. But humans played an active role in this transformation. Early humans likely began to selectively breed the friendliest, most cooperative wolves, choosing those that showed desirable traits like loyalty, intelligence, and a willingness to work alongside humans. This gradual process led to the emergence of a new kind of wolf, a wolf that was more dog-like in its behavior and appearance. Over thousands of years, these proto-dogs became increasingly distinct from their wild relatives, eventually evolving into the dogs we know today. But the domestication of dogs isn't just about behavior. There were also significant changes in their physical traits. Have you ever wondered why dogs come in so many shapes and sizes while wolves look relatively uniform? This diversity is a direct result of the domestication process. As humans began to breed dogs for specific purposes, such as hunting, herding, or guarding, different breeds with specialized traits began to emerge. Some were bred for their strength and size, like mastiffs, while others were bred for speed and agility, like greyhounds. And of course, some were bred simply for their companionship, leading to the smaller, more affectionate breeds like poodles and chihuahuas. Interestingly, domesticated dogs also developed physical traits that are not seen in wild wolves, such as floppy ears, curled tails, and various coat colors and patterns. These traits are a result of what scientists call domestication syndrome, a set of physical and behavioral traits that tend to emerge when a species is domesticated. To understand the science behind how wolves became dogs, we can look at a fascinating experiment conducted in the mid-20th century in Russia. In this experiment, a group of researchers led by Dmitry Belyav began selectively breeding silver foxes, a wild species closely related to dogs, for tameness. They chose the friendliest, most human-tolerant foxes to breed, just as early humans might have done with wolves. Over just a few generations, these foxes began to show dramatic changes, not only in behavior, but in their physical appearance as well. They became more playful, started wagging their tails, and even developed floppy ears and spotted coats, much like domesticated dogs. This experiment provided a real-time glimpse into the process that might have occurred over thousands of years with wolves, demonstrating how quickly domestication can lead to significant changes in both behavior and physical traits. As dogs became more domesticated, their relationship with humans deepened. Unlike any other animal, dogs developed a unique bond with humans, one that goes beyond simple coexistence. This bond is evident in the way dogs and humans communicate. Dogs are remarkably good at understanding human gestures and emotions. They can read our body language, respond to our facial expressions, 
and even follow our gaze, something that even our closest relatives, chimpanzees, struggle to do. This deep connection is likely a result of thousands of years of living and working together. Studies have shown that when humans and dogs interact, both species experience a release of oxytocin, the love hormone, which plays a key role in social bonding. This chemical reaction is similar to what happens between a parent and child, highlighting just how special the human-dog relationship is. Throughout history, dogs have been more than just pets, they've played vital roles in human societies. In many cultures, dogs were, and still are, essential for hunting, herding livestock, and guarding property. Some breeds were even considered sacred or held in high esteem by ancient civilizations. For example, in ancient Egypt, the god Anubis, who was associated with mummification and the afterlife, was often depicted with the head of a jackal or dog. In ancient Greece, dogs were seen as symbols of loyalty and were frequently featured in art and mythology. And in many indigenous cultures around the world, dogs are valued for their spiritual significance and their role in traditional practices. Even today, dogs continue to serve in important roles beyond companionship. They work as service animals, assisting people with disabilities, as police and military dogs, helping to enforce the law and protect communities, and as therapy animals, providing comfort and emotional support to those in need. Although dogs and wolves share a common ancestor, they are now very different animals. Wolves are highly social, but their social structure is very different from that of dogs. Wolves live in packs with a strict hierarchy, whereas domestic dogs have adapted to fit into human social structures. Dogs are also much more adaptable in their diet, able to thrive on a variety of foods, whereas wolves are strict carnivores. Behaviorally, dogs have evolved to be more dependent on humans, seeking out human company and guidance. This is in stark contrast to wolves, which are self-reliant and avoid human contact whenever possible. Come on, look. Ooh. I think I might have moved a little bit too fast there and just got snapped at. Genetically, there are also differences. While dogs and wolves can still interbreed, producing fertile offspring, their DNA has diverged in ways that make dogs more attuned to life with humans. For example, dogs have more copies of a gene called AM2B, which is involved in starch digestion, reflecting their adaptation to a human-influenced diet that includes more carbohydrates. Before we take a look at the future of dogs, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on new videos. It's super easy and helps us a lot. As we look to the future, the relationship between humans and dogs continues to evolve. Advances in genetics and breeding techniques mean that new breeds and traits could emerge, tailored even more closely to human needs and preferences. At the same time, there is a growing awareness of the importance of preserving the health and well-being of dogs, ensuring that our best friends continue to thrive alongside us for generations to come. But no matter how much they change, dogs will always be our faithful companions, a bond that has stood the test of time for thousands of years, and one that will likely continue for many more. So that's the incredible story of how wolves became dogs. From wild hunters to loyal companions, dogs have been with us every step of the way, adapting to our world and becoming an inseparable part of our lives. If you found this journey as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more amazing content, and share this video with fellow dog lovers. If you like this video and want to see more about pets, then you should probably check out our other video about the top 10 most popular domesticated animals. And as always, let us know in the comments, what's your favorite thing about dogs? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.